let's kick it in a high gear. All right, Sony, they dropped the Venom teaser, and let's just. <laughs> Hazy, come on, you can't just. So, sorry, just I had a narcoleptic episode just thinking about that Venom teaser. Let's be honest. It was a Snorfest, D boys. Oh. Oh man, I'm I, had, sorry. I had a nightmare. Sony put out a teaser trailer to that Venom movie, and it was barangas. It was <laughs> it was ball water. <laughs> it was. Here's my thing, and there's a lot of people who are defending it, saying there are, it, who are there people? are people who are defending it, saying oh, this, well, I don't know about a lot, but there yeah. are people defending it, saying oh, this Venom teaser was not so bad. But mm -hmm. I want to ask the question, Deep Voice, because this is something that I feel we feel about the Venom teaser. And a lot of people have been asking about this Venom teaser. Did it release too early? Did Sony release a Venom teaser too early? Should they have waited? Uh, the biggest gripe about this, this teaser trailer is possibly the fact that Venom wasn't shown at all. Now, there's gonna be people, gonna be people here saying, oh, they showed the symbiote in the glass jar. No, I'm not talking about some Blackberry freaking ooey gooey jelly all right i'm talking mm -hmm. about the symbiote teeth fangs <laughs> claws brolic brock that like we wanted to see at least a shot a glimpse of something along those lines and we didn't see that man i mean we Deep saw it, we saw it in a, in a little container isn't that enough for you hazy nah man nah <laughs> man because all i saw in the container was some stuff that i could spread on some bread and i didn't see no better <laughs> it did look so, like some blackberry spread that's what I'm saying. So did they release this trailer too early? Should they have waited? Some people were saying, well, maybe the CG is not finished. Other people were saying, well, look at the backlash that uh, <laughs> trailers like 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 Avengers Infinity War got for Thanos and the way he looked and people mm -hmm. hating on Steppenwolf. Maybe they wanted to make the CG look good. Those valid explanations, Deep Boys. Did the trailer release too early? Should Sony have waited? Was this the right teaser trailer for this movie? Uh, throwing a lot at me there. I mean, a lot of a do. lot of interesting points. Always do, man. And now here's the thing. I, I don't know about it being too early. When is this movie supposed to drop again? What's the release date? I believe it's October of 2018, if I'm not mistaken. October of 2018. Yeah, but I'll double check while you're talking. I mean, I October think, 5th. I, 20, I think I think this is in line with what you normally see with these kinds of movies. When you get at least a teaser, you usually get it within you, that eight month true. time frame. Uh, I mean, when no, did we right get an Infinity that. War teaser? Regardless, it's still a reasonable uh, time frame when you compare it to all the other movies. Um, and also, I don't know, you know, I don't work behind the scenes, so I don't know if it is legitimately too early. Uh, I just thought it wasn't well planned uh, sure. because, like, you know, you, you're kind of alluding to it, it wasn't all that good. Uh, and also, when would be the right time? I guess maybe Ooh. after all the hoopla. And when I mean by hoopla, I mean Deadpool 2 and Infinity War. So maybe sometime yep. in the late summer. Uh, but even well, then, that's maybe a little too late for a teaser. I mean, listen, for the record, the Avengers Infinity War teaser trailer released in November, late November, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's call it December, because it was so late in November. I think it was like maybe the 29th on mm -hmm. uh, November 29th. It was so late in, this, in November that let's, we could pr practically call it December, right? Mm -hmm. So about six months before the movie was set to release. I see. So that's when they waited to, to, to release this. So, about I mean, in theory, they could have waited a little bit. I guess they're, no, in theory, they're in the right window space. Six months. About, No, yeah. eight months. Eight, six to eight months. Six right. to eight months, yeah. And I, I think this is, from here on, like after Black Panther airs, it's not, like, like every, everyone has to clear away. Because you sure. it just no... It wouldn't be a good idea to put out any type of uh, a trailer or, or try to gain buzz for anything that is not associated with Infinity War. You know what mm. I mean? Mm. Um, this, yeah. as you That's saw, it's a good point. As you saw, got lost in the shuffle. The only reason it's even being brought up is because it sucked, and we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but this, <laughs> we're gonna forget about this rather soon. Um, yeah. And again, I, I, maybe it's just a bad spot. Maybe this is just a bad year. Uh, because the whole first half is dominated by some mega, mega movies. Uh, yeah, And, and yeah. Th the later half, that's probably the right time for an Ant-Man and the Wasp, a Venom, and an Aquaman, which we've heard nothing about. Uh, send some prayers out for the Aquaman team if they, if they put out a trailer within this period of time because they're going to get decimated. It's just not good. It's not a good... <laughs> 
time to drop any of this kind of stuff. But right. I guess the show must go on. Um, yeah. Really yeah. what leaves me confused more than anything or the question in my mind is what's the purpose? Like, mm-hmm. what was the point of just dropping this trailer or teaser? What was the point of, of making it the way that it is? What are they trying to convey? What is it that they're trying to sell people on? Like, what is this movie supposed to be for the average viewer, for the comic book viewer? Um, mm-hmm. So is it too early? You know, just to answer the question, I'll say yes. <laughs> but even if they did it at the right time, this still was not a good trailer or teaser. I don't okay. care. That, Te- teaser, trailer, whatever. Fair. I know it's officially a teaser. I might call it a trailer. Yeah. It's just it's it's not it's not worth anybody's time. I'm sorry. A, a teaser is a type of trailer. So if you call it a trailer, I feel like that's sufficient. But it is they, the the official name is a teaser trailer. Teaser. If anybody's trailer. nitpicking about that. Yeah. But you know, a couple of things I want to pick up on from what you said. Um, first of all, you're absolutely right. Like this is the window that you'd want to release this trailer. Now, mm-hmm. obviously, internally you have these plans when. You want to begin, you know, your marketing push for these movies and so on and so forth. I just feel like the day after Deadpool, the day after Jessica Jones season two trailer, I don't know if that's when you want to drop it. Even if you waited an extra day or two, I don't know. Maybe if you wait till early next week. But I'm sure they have some internal plans on that regard. But you can't argue that it is within the window to begin your marketing. And that's a great point that you brought up about Black Panther coming out. Because once Black Panther drops... Like, and that's this week as of us, you know, doing this live stream yeah. um, slash recording. Mm-hmm. Once Black Panther drops, it's the road to Infinity War till May. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, Deadpool 2 is, 2 is certainly going to be ra- ramping up its uh, marketing as well. Yeah. Um, you brought up the idea that Ant-Man might be in competition as well. Or not Ant-Man, Aquaman might be in competition as well. Yeah. Also Ant-Man and the Wasp later in the year as well, too. Yeah. So it's a lot. And that's a, that's a really good point. The other thing I wanted to bring up is sort of in response to uh, Elijah Colbert in the uh, in the live chat here, mm-hmm. and he said that they're glad he's glad that they didn't show the suit yet, the Venom suit, mm-hmm. because we all know too many Charles blow their loads. Now, here's my I, response. To that. I don't know. If, I kind of disagree with that. I'll be if, with you. I mean, the one other thing I could disagree with is this: if Venom, the title character. Is what you're betting on if that is your if sewing the suit or showing how venom looks is where you're putting your money at that's just really that that sort of doesn't make any sense to me because like what about this movie is going to appeal to other people it's venom people are coming for venom you know and, like and, if, and, if that's what you're trying to sell and that's so like there's, <laughs> there's a lot of people who don't know who venom is exactly or what venom is that, that's so you I, have to show something that at least like this was touted as being a horror movie Okay, this was touted as being somewhat of a horror movie. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't get anything in that in that regard from this trailer. The the new mutants teaser trailer seemed a lot more like a horror movie. Right. I thought that there was supposed to be some horror inspiration with this movie. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm maybe I'm I I feel like that's something that was said. Could be. Um I honestly don't remember off the top of my head, but they're definitely going for a different kind of vibe. They're definitely not going for their typical superhero, which is fine. Yeah. That's not really what we're complaining about. It's no. just me just examining the teaser. I don't know, like, what is it supposed to be about? Like, I, I know sufficiently, I know enough about Venom and, and about Marvel comics and all that kind of stuff. But we're, Venom hasn't been hot for a while. Sure. We, we can't sit here and think like, oh, well, it's Venom, so people are automatically going to pop for it. They, no, they, you're right. You'd be surprised how many people either don't really know or don't really care or not really looking for Venom in any way, shape, or form. Uh, right. And those of us that are a little older, um, the, the, those in Hazy and I's demographic, uh, they would at least want to see Venom. Like, I, I think that yeah. that would be a huge selling point, especially after the last time we got Venom was Spider-Man 3. Uh, and that wasn't very well received. No. So you have to, you have to, bad. I don't know, you, you have to present something. And, and at the very least, give us an idea of what it is we're going to go watch. Like, the, it right. wasn't... If you're going to go for mood or ambiance, try to do that. And, and I guess that's what th- this was trying to do, but I didn't do it well enough because I didn't really feel Absolutely. anything in any way, shape, or form. If you're trying to present a premise, then do mm-hmm. that. This did not present any premise 
It's just I'm pouring water for myself in case in case it looks like I'm doing something funny. It's fine. But, <laughs> it, oh, the premise. I mean, the most that I could get out of this is Eddie Brock played by Tom Hardy. People don't even know Eddie Brock like that, but they'll just say Tom Hardy is in a hospital. Something's wrong with him. And they're experimenting. <laughs> we don't know. And, and that's it. I mean, there isn't like they didn't give us enough here. Listen, it's, I'm not it, it seemed almost haphazard and just random the scenes and the shots that they threw into this te teaser. That I can agree with. But listen, it's supposed to be a teaser, so I totally understand some random shots. But to me, if the movie has brand recognition, mm -hmm. then it's okay to sort of put these random shots together. And sort of like the, I remember the first Star Wars teaser uh, for Star Wars, The Force Awakens. It was sort of like some random shots together. A little bit of, you know, Han and Chewie come in and says, you know, Chewie, we're home. Like it, it's a well-known franchise. It meant something because of that alone. With this Venom teaser trailer, I don't think they should have shown the full suit like for 30 seconds, but at least like a claw or something like a, like a hand in the with the venom you know uh symbiote around it or even showing the venom uh symbiote in the jar like maybe making some sort of screeching noise and like hitting a glass or breaking a glass like something to make us feel the danger the eminent presence that venom has but there's not a lot of people like you said that are gonna pop for venom venom like we know venom the people listening to this generally know venom you know eddie brock is the, the person who primarily has worn the, the Venom suit or the one that's most well-known. Mm -hmm. He's the first, second symbiote suit wearer. But people don't really know this character like that. The most we got was a shot of some black, you know, ink-like stuff curling up the veins of his neck at the end, um, you know, implying that the Venom symbiote is sort of taking him over. or Maybe it's in his blood or something like that. But, you know, a lot of people missed that on initial viewing. Mm -hmm. And listen... We're in the age where people dissect trailers. Totally fine. It's totally fine to put a missable detail in there. But I'm like, this is the detail. Like, if you're going to do him screaming at the end and you want to, like, show the black stuff, like, have him be, like, like have him be screaming and moving, and at one point he'll just be, like, screaming, mm -hmm. and then you just show his neck slowly being overtaken by it. Like, something a little... Like, this was not the time for subtlety. Yeah. The yeah, people no, who don't I, know I, this movie don't know, the, aren't, don't know this character. The, yeah. the people that don't know this character, aren't, don't, they're not going to be... Like interested in this movie, and the people who do know this character are like, okay. And it, here's here's an, <laughs> here's another point. I mean, you, you make a good you make a good point there talking about this is not a time for subtlety. Uh, I'm a little biased because I think Venom the character is a little overrated. I don't find him all that crazy or interesting. But mm -hmm. what I think is mostly to that character, especially back in the day, is his look. That was like the biggest thing about him. So you, sure. you need a money shot because that's what put Venom on the map. Yeah. Spider-Man had a black suit. That was dope. Venom has a cool design. That's what yeah. drew people to that Venom character. No, the, the, when you think back to what you liked about Venom or what the first times you remember Venom in a cartoon or in a comic, you think about, wow, that looked cool. You didn't yeah. think, oh, wow. I mean, there was such ambiance and emotion and, and such a struggle between Eddie Brock and the symbiote. And, and it's like they're being pulled apart, but they need to be together because they hate you. Just like, no, no, no. It's not. You, you get those details, those bits afterwards. You don't right, start with right. that. That's supposed to be in the movie. You got Tom Hardy, you got Grissom, and you got some good actors. You put that in the movie. So when people go, they're pleasantly surprised. But it's not the reverse where it's like, ooh, no, you're wreckage. Right. Ooh, hospital. Oh, Tom Hardy's sweating like crazy. He's got the flu. <laughs> Bomb. That's it. Venom. Like, what? It's not... It just wasn't good. It just wasn't yeah. good. And, and like, it's not that some people who are defending it... Not that they're necessarily wrong with their points. But if you're defending it, you want it to make money. Yeah. And if you want it to make money, you want people to watch it. <laughs> if you want to be people honest, to watch it, you need people to be excited to go see it. And this is not what this teaser does. Even to be honest, go ahead. To, to be honest, I'll, I'll let you continue in just a second. I just yeah. want to interject with this one thing. To be honest, the only thing that sold that trailer was the Marvel logo at the beginning. The average consumer does not go on YouTube like, oh man, what is this Venom trailer about? I've got to watch all these videos. To, you know, I've got a Venom explained in the search bar. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not going to all these uh, news sites to try and figure this stuff out. They're just like, oh, okay. Maybe I'll see it when it comes out if I'm interested. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, I'll pass the puck, the puck back over to you, the puck back over to you, but the Marvel logo at the beginning was the thing that sold it the most. 
Because people recognize the Marvel brand, at least. There's brand recognition. Right. There. Exactly. And another thing that this movie... I mean, who knows? We don't even really know. It doesn't seem like the people that are involved in this know entirely, but we don't know if this is connected or not connected to the MCU or, or to the Spider-Man character, which would be <clears throat> another huge selling point. I mean, I think, honestly, Tom Hardy... Let, let's say it is connected and they just show Tom Hardy. People at this yeah. point associate that, that, you know, him with the Spider-Man character. That could at least have gotten people excited in one way, shape, or form. You know what I mean? Absolutely. 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 I mean, listen, they... There's... There's talent there. Tom Hardy is a talented actor. Mm -hmm. Riz Ahmed, talented actor. Michelle Williams, you could argue that she's possibly the most talented actor in this movie. Actress in this movie. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, she... They have a good cast, and I'm sure they have a decent story, and maybe they're playing things close to the vest mm -hmm. in order to, uh, you know, create intrigue. And because they do feel like the story is going to be good, unlike, for example, let's um, let's look at Amazing Spider-Man Two, who uh, Spider Zero, who you know is an avid uh, watcher of Spectacular Spoil League and listener, <laughs> or whatever, of the community, avid leaguer, mm -hmm. you know, pointed out like the Amazing Spider-Man Two trailer has kind of sold the whole, like kind of spoiled the whole movie. Mm -hmm. So maybe they're playing things close to to the vest, yeah. you know. I mean, I but, agree. I agree. You don't. I I personally don't like when a teaser or trailer shows too yes. much. I, I definitely yes. don't like that. Um, yes, like the Batman vs Superman trailer was literally like the movie condensed. Yes, the best parts of the movie, to be exact. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that's I mean, a good. That's a good clarification right there. And, and even like, I mean, there's, there's a lot of buzz. Again, you know, talking about Black Panther, there's a lot of buzz. But I've tried my my damnest to not see anything at this point because I sure. just I, I think I've saw enough and I'm excited for it, uh, and I'll watch it when yeah. it comes out. I feel you on that. But I don't want to see any more. You know, I totally agree on that. But I don't think showing the Tom Hardy in the symbiote suit is showing too much. I don't, I don't think I don't think that's on Venom. Much. Th that's not, at least at least the mouth or like something you know like Venom typically yeah. makes like the sound like yeah. something. Th that's to, like, not that's not spoiling the movie. I know that's what no. we do here. We spoil, but that's not. We know the the film is called Venom, so of course Venom is in it. If you see him in a teaser, it's not spoiling anything. <laughs> it no. might spoil, I guess, the look or anything. If maybe they're doing something different. But yeah. you got to, like you said earlier, at least, like, give us some black goo, him being enveloped in it, or, or something, something a little bit more. I don't know. You're only getting hyped for this if you're a fan of one of the actors or actresses in the movie, or you're a Venom Mark. Oh, <laughs> damn. Yeah, and I'm, I'm firing shots when I say that. You know what I'm saying? Why, I'm they, just like, why they got to be Marks? <laughs> they, they're Venom Marks, bro. Like, they're, they're people. I'm, listen, man. You, listen, you, you know tell me talking. you don't like all the symbiotes that are out there? Toxin, just... poison, Ritalin, penicillin, <laughs> <laughs> aspirin. You tell me you're not a <laughs> tell me you're not a fan of all those different characters from the I 90s mean, we got, when we Marvel actually, went bankrupt because they didn't know what the heck they were doing, making all these goddamn characters. I think we actually have a guide to symbiotes, uh, a guide to symbiotes image yeah. oh, that I'll we could probably out. show off. Yeah, but there are a bunch of symbiotes in there. Um, you know, just in short to sort of say what what it looks like this movie is going to be about. Um, the prevailing theories I've seen are that the Life Foundation, which is like an organization that essentially took the Venom symbiote, experimented with it, and as a result created five offshoot symbiotes, uh, who are uh, Phage, Scream, Agony, Lasher, and Riot, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they have a team called the Five Symbiotes. Mm -hmm. Creative, huh? <laughs> uh, and uh, you know the idea here is that Riz Ahmed is the the head of the Life Foundation, um, and there's the, the prevailing theory is that Venom is essentially have to gonna have to go up against these symbiotes, and this organization, Life Foundation, is probably doing some illegal research in that respect as well. Now, there's also a theory out there that you know when we see Tom Hardy going for an MRI. Mm -hmm. or some type of scan uh, in the movie, or in the trailer, rather, people are... And by the way, Riz Ahmed is allegedly playing Carlton Drake. He's the head of the Life Foundation. Mm -hmm. But when we see Tom Hardy going into the MRI scanner, the idea is that he is... He might have cancer. Because in the comics, uh, they sort of retconned Eddie Brock 
so that uh you know it wasn't just that the venom symbiote needed eddie brock because of the hatred it had for peter parker but rather also because eddie brock was dying and cancer was killing him and he actually needed the symbiote to stay alive so there's a couple of shots in the trailer where he does in fact look sick now i don't know if that like he's sort of like hunched over a little bit i mm -hmm. don't know if that is because of the venom, venom symbiote sort of you know i don't know if he's like infected or if it you know has something to do with the cancer i will say this he hasn't gotten chemotherapy because he has hair mm -hmm. um so that's probably you know telltale sign that you know He's not deep into treatment or anything. Maybe he just got diagnosed. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, but there's also some shots of him sort of being a journalist, it seems. He looks like he's investigating some some uh, some areas in some type of research facility, likely investing investigating in the Life Foundation, which naturally would put him into a direct encounter with the Venom symbiote, uh, which crashed on Earth via some sort of alien spaceship. Once again, this is all theorizations, but... At the end of the day, I like how I made up my own word theorization. I'm guess for the word, but <laughs> there's a lot going, there's a lot going on, and obviously by the tone of my voice, I'm not particularly interested either way. Mm -hmm. They need to sell me on this. I'm hopeful. I actually like Venom a little bit more than Boyce, mm -hmm. but I'm not in the business. There's too many like there's too much superhero content out there, and there's too much good superhero content out here, antihero content out here, comic book content out here. To make me beg for a bad telling of something, like a bad uh, adaptation of something, it needs to be good. And they got to sell me, and that trailer did not sell me. I like all the actors involved. I think it has potential. Obviously, these people signed on because they see potential in the movie. I'm not saying it's not going to be good, mm. but that teaser trailer was not good. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm.